Marfa is a town out in the middle of the Chihuahuan Desert, deep and isolated in the southwestern corner of Texas. The town was supposedly established as a water stop for the railroad. That's a nice idea. Water in the desert. But it's unlikely since there isn't anything out here to drink but scotch and LaCroix. No, Marfa was really started by artists, art critics, fashionistas, beatniks, weebos, and lots and lots of hipsters. Like so many hipsters. And some cowboys too. There's an RV park, a coffee shop, a pizzeria, a Dollar General, a hotel, a coffee shop, a food truck, a Dairy Queen, a combination laundromat and coffee shop, a theater, a courthouse, like three different churches, and of course, a coffee shop. That's like the entire town. Actually, it's more like a village. Only like 2,000 people live here, and yet Marfa has a thriving art scene and an unbelievable array of high-quality restaurants and cafes. How about the Prada shop out in the middle of nowhere? It's not real. It's just an artsy-fartsy display. But still, its very existence demonstrates, unequivocally, that this place is weird. And it's all thanks to one specific, interesting, and wholly unrepeatable guy. In the 1970s, famed New York minimalist and perpetually cranky art critic Donald Judd decided to come out to Marfa. He bought up a bunch of the town, including some old army barracks that had temporarily been set up here during the Second World War. The story goes that Judd had been stationed here during that same war, and coming back was a way for him to get away from everything and focus on his important artistic contributions, which are giant metal and concrete cubes, rectangles, and squares. I mean, it's just breathtaking. Look at it. Now Marfa attracts the same kind of people that, ironically, Donald Judd seemed to be trying to get away from. People like himself. People like me. The contemporary artist. Looking at his work, I can't say that I blame him. These posers are fake. As fake as this pipe I'm holding. And I don't even smoke. I'm John Sorensen, and I'm an artist. I've come to Marfa, Texas to experience its mystery, and to figure out whether or not it can shed light on an old puzzle. What is art? And what does it really mean to be an artist? I woke up from my old RV camper. Some people here sleep in teepees or yurts. Some people choose a sleek modern hotel downtown. I choose to sleep in a giant RV camper. What does that say about me? Maybe it's just because I'm an artist. Hopefully a real artist. I make videos about things that I see in the world, only because doing so has no set hours, can be done comfortably from home, and entirely on my own terms. In other words, I'm kind of lazy, painfully lazy, just like this sculpture here. Wow, yeah, that's really lazy too. So what is an artist? What is art? It's lazy, and I'm going back to bed. I needed answers, and so I decided to ask the man himself, Donald Judd. He's a highly prolific author, so maybe he's got to have some of the insight into all of this. Uh, well some TVs are not so bad, like Sony of Skidmore, Ownings and Merrill, and some are awful, like Zenith or Johnson or Burge. On second thought, maybe I should just get a coffee. I can't follow anyone. I gotta be my own man, an individual. I'm independent now. Look, I drew this. I drew this all by myself. Independence is implicit in the personal nature of the work. And yet no one wants this, no matter how hard I try and sell it. Hmm, wait a minute. What if the people who won't buy my art 
are the crappy ones, and I'm actually totally awesome. That's it. My art doesn't sell because I'm not a sellout. Yeah, that's it. I'm an independent artist, and only independent artists are good artists. Therefore, I'm a good artist. It doesn't matter if no one wants to buy, because it's that fact that makes my art good. I'd better call my dad. He's gonna be so proud of me. Plus, I'm gonna need some money to be able to afford to stay in my hipster RV tonight. Look at them, these paid artists, getting money in exchange for their valued labor. They're mercenaries, devious, mediocre, foolish, but not me. I'm independent. Slogans, empty base slogans are everywhere, even here in the desert. What does that even mean? It's like a paradox that living is so ordinary when it's so brief and unusual. Art is destroying itself, a fifth column from within. Art isn't about anything anymore because humanity isn't about anything anymore. So I may as well just sit in a big empty room and look at squares. Orwell was right. I mean, I don't really know. I've never read any of his books, but I have a hunch this is what he was describing when he wrote Charlotte's Web. Is this art? What makes art art? This can't be art. Now this, this is, this is, it's a this. It's what it is, and whatever that is, is nothing else but a this. It's what Donald Judd calls a specific object. These aren't just cubes. These aren't even sculptures. No, man, they're specific objects. But then take this burrito. It looks good and all, but is it art? It's not, because I bought it, and consequently, now it's trash. It's just like all the rest, a sellout. Yeah, so maybe my work as an artist doesn't add up, like some sellout engineering job. But my work helps us measure the freedom that is necessary for science and all those so-called real jobs out there. I'm the canary in a coal mine, man. And canaries don't sell out. No, canaries sing their little hearts out until they're dead. Uh, so like, people can't see beyond their self-interest, but their self-interest is inadequate because they can't see beyond it? I get it now. The best art can't be categorized. It's not something people want. It's immune to the market, because it is what it is, and it is nothing else. It's idiosyncratically useless, just like me. And that's what makes it special, just like I'm special. So why do people come here? Like Donald Judd, they come here to escape the old familiar and to find new familiarity in each other. Art like this isn't a function of some creative impulse, like self-expression, or even the need to reflect beauty. No, this is the art of the lost, the lonely, and the friendless. And Marfa has become their place, to just be. Marfa itself is a 3D sculpture. It's one of Donald Judd's specific objects, out and alone, in the middle of nowhere, in a kind of cultural outer space, where you can be free of the disillusionment of the literal space of the mundane world that we're all born into. At the end of the day, for guys like me and Donald Judd, Art is above everything else, just something interesting. It's a specific object, and that's the magic of Marfa. It's really just very interesting. But with all these interesting people continuing to pour into the town, will it be able to stay that way? Perhaps the seeds of Marfa's own destruction can be found in its very success. Like, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then you could go ahead and please like and subscribe. And uh, also, if you'd like to learn more about Donald Judd and Marfa, Texas and contemporary art, you can go to the JuddFoundation.org. You can learn a lot of cool stuff there. Thank you.